Everything around me proves, it came into existence by design, and not by chance. The designer is God, the most kind and the most merciful. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. In doing this, you will immediately get notified of new videos, when they are released. In this exercise, you will see insects in groups of five. Your job is to count the number of insects as a group and then at the end multiply the group by the insects in the group. This will give you how many insects you have. You can see that in each group we have 5 insects and we have a total of 4 groups. We will do an example to explain this. First group. Second group. Third group. And fourth group. Now we can work out the result in this way. We have four groups so we write four. Multiply by. Next, we write the number of insects in a group, which is five. Working this multiplication out, will give you the total number of insects. Trying counting them yourself and see if you get the same result. Let us do an exercise, on what we have just covered. You are given 30 seconds to do each question. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see.
first count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. Let us do this exercise again. If you have made any mistakes, 
then this is your chance to correct them. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see.
First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. First count, number of groups and then work out how many insects that you can see. We hope you have learned something from this video. Please tell at least 5 people about our work, so they can also benefit. Do visit our website, to see hundreds of free educational videos. This is the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. We regularly bring out new videos so don't miss out. Please subscribe to get these educational videos.